Okay, this one, guys. Let's talk about some Jimmy G, all right? Jimmy Garoppolo from the 49ers. A couple of years ago, more like two years ago, when they made the Super Bowl, everyone said, next dynasty, right here. We're going to have the 49ers who are going to come up here the next five years dominate all right i said hey this might just be like a one-year wonder because garoppolo always gets hurt and you know teams usually don't go back to back and they don't keep doing it unless you're the patriots so don't be fooled it might, it might not happen and they didn't even win right and getting back and riling up your team through that entire postseason all that crazy stuff going back to the super bowl is really really tough that only a few players can do all right so with all that stuff out of the way now, I'm not going to say, hey, I told you so, right? But if you go to my Instagram, you saw that, hey, I told you so, all right? <laughs> Last year, I said it's going to be a one-year wonder. But with Jimmy G, he recently signed back with the 49ers. Now, I don't agree with this. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a Jimmy G hater, but I was never a huge fan of him because of the fact that, number one, he has two rings already. Now, he was the backup for Brady. Hey, but on the Patriots, he was there. They wanted to trade him in for Brady. I wasn't a part of that. I didn't like it. Because Brady's a lot better than Jimmy G, even though they could have switched him in and put Jimmy G and built a new dynasty, which I highly doubt. But hey, that's neither here nor there. With Jimmy G, though, the fact that he always gets injured, he's not dependable. Like, you can't just throw a team on his back because of the fact that the first two weeks he's in there, boom, already injured. ACL, elbow, arm. You know, if something like that happens, you're done. You're, your entire career in the football league after a few injuries is over. Alex Smith, for example, he took one major hit, gone for an entire year, come back later in the year, give it to Alex Smith, huge fan of him, but it's really, really tough, especially the game, it's really hard, it's tough, new players are just coming in, so guys like Jimmy G and uh, Josh, Josh Allen, no, 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 his name was the guy that the Cardinals drafted, Josh Rosen, Josh Rosen, guys like that, who just come into the league and just kind of, you know, hang around there for a little bit, Andy Dalton. And they're, like, not as good enough or not as good as the top players. Not as trash as, like, Ben DiNucci and the backup players, but right in the middle, right? Those players, they come into the league and they kind of just get lost. They just get lost in the dust. And then the new players, Herbert, Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, they just keep coming up over and over and over again. And pretty soon, people are going to start forgetting about Lamar. They're going to say, ah, Lamar, who just a little bit on an outlier. He just ran, ran, ran. And then he's like a next Michael Vick, and they'll just forget about him. If Josh Allen doesn't perform, if he doesn't win some rings, they're going to forget about him. Now, this is the one that people aren't going to agree with me. But if Mahomes, they're not going to agree with me. But if Mahomes does not win any more rings, or if he just wins a few more, they're going to remember him as a really good player. But if he doesn't get to eight, like Tony Romo said, they're not going to consider him as the GOAT. That is what he wants. Mahomes wants to be the GOAT. Yeah, but the GOAT right now is still playing. So if you can't even beat him, seven rings won't do it. You got to get eight. Can he get eight? Nope. Don't think so. Because by now, Brady already did it back to back. If he won this ring, then yes, he'll be in pace because Brady won his first ring. And then a few years later, he won back to back. So that was three rings. Mahomes, the first year, of course, he came in here. Brady beat him. The second year, he got the ring. The third year, he lost to Brady. So if he can't even beat Brady, then that was the one guy he could never beat. And that's going to be a huge argument against Mahomes throughout the rest of his career. So Mahomes, you're not going to be the GOAT, man. I'm sorry to break it to you. He's not going to get to eight rings. It's not going to happen anymore. Brady was an outlier. So that's why I have Brady. That's why I have Herbert. I think Herbert is going to be really, really good. The specs from him are going to be awesome. And coming back to Jimmy Garoppolo, I think the whole Garoppolo thing was just, you know, they're, they're not going to be any good in the NFC, um, let alone the, their own conference. Their own conference is so tough. Kyler Murray, the Rams, and you guys, dude, it's it's not that good. And, of course, you're not going to beat the Seahawks. These four teams are the top teams. Sucks that you're in a good division, but oh well, you're not going to win anymore. Sorry to all the Niners fans, but it's over for you guys. All right? I'll see you guys tomorrow in a brand new video. Bye.